And welcome everyone to the board brief brought to you by Riverside County. We just wrapped up another Riverside County Board of Supervisors meeting today. So we will give you a brief look at what took place today and some of the important things taking place across Riverside County. Now today's Board of Supervisors meeting began with some recognition for the probation supervision week and we had uh, our chief public uh, our chief probation officer Ronald Miller. He was here in the chambers as well had a very moving video about how probation is able to change and transform lives in our community whether it's addiction whether it's job training employment probation does so much and uh, here was uh, our, again, our chief probation officer, Ronald Miller, talking about um, some of the effect they've been able to have through their department for our community. We're in the people business. And when he talked about sustained moral persuasion, it's really about stepping into that space of other people and getting to know them and understanding where they're at. Then how do you have conversations that help them change that lens so that they can see a way out of poverty, so they can see a way out of the circumstances that they're in and move to that better place. And so probation plays that unique role in those 10,000 people out of 2.5 million residents in Riverside County. How do we step into that space and help these 10,000 people to move forward? And I believe it's that level of engagement, it's that building that community, it's that collaborative effort, both with our county partners and our CBOs to make that happen. So I'm grateful for that opportunity to do that presentation. Thank you. And a big thanks to the great work done by the probation department. A big thanks for uh, Ron Miller for stopping by the Board of Supervisors meeting today. So now we change gears and we go to the illegal fireworks campaign. We just had the 4th of July and this is our first board brief since that holiday. And we had our chief executive officer, Jeff Van Wagenen, talking about the if you lied it, we'll ride it campaign and went over some of the numbers, the statistics uh, coming out of that campaign. And the good news is all those key numbers numbers came down because of this key campaign to remind everyone do not use illegal fireworks. Here's our CEO, Jeff Van Wagenen. The Sheriff's Department received 714 reports of fireworks activity between July 2nd and 4th. That's a 45% reduction from 2020. The Sheriff issued 237 citations, conducted four undercover operations, made six arrests, and seized 2,862 pounds of fireworks. The Cal Fire Riverside Unit, Riverside County Fire Department, received 621 reports of fireworks activity. That's a 10% reduction from 2020. Our fire department issued six citations, made eight arrests, and seized 800 pounds of fireworks. And most notably, 16 acres burned this year because of illegal fireworks activity. That's an 86% reduction from the 114 acres that burned in 2020. And our code enforcement officials were out and issued 26 citations. What are the takeaways from this experience? We certainly know that we have more work to do. But looking at the comparison activity year over year, it is clear that this year's operation was successful in achieving our goal to reduce illegal fireworks in Riverside County. And a big thanks to Mr. Van Wagenen for that update on the illegal fireworks campaign. If you light it, we'll ride it. And finally, today inside the Board of Supervisors Chambers, we celebrated Labyrintho Day, and uh, we had it through a proclamation. Let's take a little bit, uh, take a look at some of the video that we had from earlier today with Supervisor Hewitt from the Fifth District. We had not only Xavier Ortiz; he's the owner of Torawapo. That's the venue in Paris where Labyrintho, El Grupo Labyrintho, will be performing on July 25th. But also a very popular DJ on Spanish radio, Radio Campo Radio. Uh, they were here from the proclamation. And uh, here is Supervisor Hewitt and a little soundbite from the Board of Supervisors meeting for this proclamation earlier. With that, I will present this to Xavier and, uh, and, and Compa radio. radio, which I've never seen his face. He follows the mask ordinance to an extreme. Uh, guys, Gru Grupo Laberinto is um, <clears throat> your rolling stones of the Mexican um, community. Okay? <laughs> they, they are an iconic group. 
And that was uh, earlier from the Board of Supervisors meeting. Now we have Mario Garay from the 5th District Office, obviously representing Supervisor Hewitt, for, who presented the proclamation. Mario, this is a big deal. This is very exciting. This is a huge deal for the Spanish community, for the Latino community and the diversity of Riverside County. So it was a huge, huge day for us to be here. Now, we just heard him compare uh, Laberinto to, you know, the Rolling Stones. And, and I know you've been to the venue where they will be performing in Paris Absolutely. on July 25th. Um, this is a great venue with a great band. Absolutely. Remember, these guys have been in action for over three decades, right? Since 18, uh, 1987, sorry. And honestly, them being out here uh, in the United States is a huge deal, especially as we're opening back up. We're starting to see the Latino community go out and start shopping. So um, for anyone who's interested, interested, please come down to Paris and really enjoy that music. It's going to be a huge, huge deal. We'll have Supervisor Hewitt down there. He's going to actually present the proclamation along with an award to make sure that they know that that day is the Labyrinth Day. So thank you for having me on here today. Appreciate yeah, absolutely. That. Thank you, Mario. Maybe we get Supervisor Hewitt on the stage uh, singing maybe one song with the with the group. I I'm hoping he gets the Luchador mask. On. That's going to be my hope, right? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be wonderful. Thank you, Mario. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Thank you so it. much, right? That's Mario Garay from the 5th District Office. My name is Pep Fernandez. That is going to wrap up our board brief for this week. And again, just a quick reminder, we are here Every single time the Board of Supervisors meet here in Riverside County, we will have the Board Brief Show right after it to make sure you have the latest information of what's going on in the meetings and across Riverside County. I'm Pep Fernandez, and we'll see you next time.